is a presentation of WGN Sports. are celebrating the 100th anniversary of Wrigley Field. It opened in 1914. The Cubs have been playing here since 1916. The Phillies, today's opponent, and we welcome Cub fans from all over the country watching on WGN America, America's home for baseball. Welcome to the ballpark. The Phillies 25 man roster coaching staff the Hall of Fame manager Ryan Sandberg and we will get the uh, Cubs here momentarily everybody bundled up wind howling out temperatures in the mid 40s today as the Cubs play their home opener after losing two of three in Pittsburgh but avoiding the sweep with a win yesterday former Cub Jamie Moyers in the uh, Phillies TV booth and uh, JD I said yeah wind howling out is strange he said don't even talk about the wind blowing out <laughs> everybody that ever pitched in this ballpark with the wind blowing out and they come here on a day like today you just kind of shiver and go I'm glad it's not me on the bump this afternoon it will be Travis Wood to make his season debut so right now we're at 40 there is a wind chill but a west southwest wind and you see upwards of 32 miles an hour in gusts that may be even stronger than that. So at the moment, you'd say uh, the left-handed power hitters should benefit, but hopefully Travis Wood can negate some of that power being left-handed himself. And that's precisely why Travis Wood is making this start this afternoon. You know, based on his performance last year, you could have made an argument for him being the opening day starter. Certainly. Uh, slotting in number two behind Jeff Samarja, but Ricky Renteria wanted him here against this Philly uh, left-handed lineup. All right, let's meet the 2014 Cubs. Over to Andy Bellison. And now let's meet your 2014 Chicago Cubs. First, the manager, please welcome number 16, Rick Renneria. And the 2014 staff assistant athletic trainer, Matt Johnson. Assistant athletic trainer, Ed Helmer. Athletic trainer, PJ Mainville. Team physical therapist, Ryan Mertz. The strength and conditioning coordinator, Tim Buss. The Cubs team physician, Stephen Adams. Team orthopedist, Stephen Grislow. The home clubhouse manager, Tom Hellman. And the assistant home clubhouse manager, Gary Stark. And your 2014 Cubs coaching staff. Number one, third base coach, Gary Jones. Number two, quality assurance coach, Jose Castro. The hitting coach, number three, Bill Miller. Bench coach, number 17, Brandon Hyde. Number 25, the pitching coach, Chris Basio. The bullpen coach, number 35, Lester Strode. Catching coach, number 58, Mike Borzello. Number 65, the staff assistant, Franklin Font. First base coach, number 77, Eric Kinski. The bullpen catcher, number 95, Chad Noble. And number 96, assistant hitting coach, Mike Brumley. And today's non-starters for your Chicago Cubs. 
Number 12, John Baker. Number 20, Justin Ruggiano. Number 21, Junior Lake. Number 29, Jeff Samarja. Number 30, Mike Olt. Number 33, Carlos Villanueva. Number 36, Edwin Jackson. Number 39, Jason Hamill. Number 40, James Russell. Number 41, Jose Veras. Number 46, Pedro Strobe. Number 51, Ryan Kalish. Number 52, Justin Grimm. Number 53, Wesley Wright. Number 56, Hector Rondon. And number 63, Brian Schlitter. And now the starting lineup for your Chicago Cubs. Leading off in center field, number 64, Emilio Bonifacio. Batting second and playing shortstop, number 13, Starlin Castro. Hitting third, the first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Batting cleanup in right field, number 19, Nature Holtz. Hitting fifth, the third baseman, number 24, Luis Valbuena. Catching and batting six for the Cubs, number five, Wellington Castillo. Hitting seventh in left field, number six, Ryan Sweeney. Batting eighth, the second baseman, number 15, Darwin Burney. Batting ninth and warming up in the left field bullpen, left-hander, number 37, Travis Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2014 Chicago Cubs. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise and kindly remove your caps as this afternoon's colors are presented by Sergeant Cullen Sir, Staff Sergeant Dexter Cobbs, Staff Sergeant Manuel Reyes, and Sergeant Joseph Hudak, members of the Chicago Army Recruiting Battalion. At this time, please join the students from Chicago's Blaine Elementary School as they honor our country and our flag by leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please remain standing and join Wayne Mesmer for his 30th consecutive opening day 
accompanied by Gary Pressy at the Lowry organ as they honor our nation with God Bless America, followed by our national anthem. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountain. To the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God America, my home, sweet home. dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still That star spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free. The great Wayne Mesmer. And uh, always great to hear the Pledge of Allegiance from the fine students from Blaine Elementary here in the Wrigleyville neighborhood. And we still have one more big thing to do before we play ball today, and that is the ceremonial first pitch. And there will be a, uh, a Hall of Fame component to it uh, with a little twist today. To see Billy Williams, Fergie Jenkins, and Ernie Banks, and they will conduct the seventh inning stretch. They were down on the field during batting practice this morning. And we'll see them momentarily out on the field. Great atmosphere here, partner. Yeah, a lot of excitement in the ballpark. The weather was a little ugly this morning when we first got here, windy and rainy. It's obviously still quite windy, but the rain has moved on, at least for the time being. Yeah, it's always fun. Opening day, you know, baseball is a game where we celebrate the routine, you know, the, the grind of every day, but two really special days, opening day, and then, of course, the home opener. Players are all jacked up. 
getting settled in last night to their uh, Chicago residences. The Phillies, meanwhile, have been here since Wednesday night. After they opened their season in Texas, they won on opening day and dropped games two and three. Paul Hamels is on the disabled list, so we won't see him this weekend. We will see Cliff Lee and A.J. Burnett on Saturday and Sunday. Roberto Hernandez. And off relief. year last year, with the Tampa Bay was 6 and 13, and you know, he's a bit of a wild card in this rotation. A few years back, really, really good. In 2007, he finished fourth in the American League in the Cy Young Award voting. In 2010, he was an All Star. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch him today because you know just knowing what kind of pitcher he is looking at his numbers and talking to people with the Phillies to say you know when he's when his sinker's good and he's keeping the ball down around the knees it's one ground ball after another but there's no real plan B he's not going to overpower you up in the strike zone if he elevates uh, it could be an ugly day for him he allowed 24 home runs last year and 151 innings pitched one of the higher home run rates in the American League. Here come the Cubs Hall of Famers. And of course we have not only three Hall of Famers who played most of their careers with the Cubs in the ballpark. We have four and he's in uniform and here's Ryan Sandberg heading out with Billy Ernie and Fergie. That's some baseball royalty right there. We only have two catchers. This could be problematic. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, this is a very special day for Rhino to be back here. He Managed the Phillies as an interim skipper last September here at Wrigley, but now a full time manager certainly has a lot on his own plate. But uh, I know he looked at their schedule right when it came out, and I'm sure was thrilled to know that he and his family could come back to Chicago this weekend. Yeah, you know, when you when you have that interim label, you're not sure you're not sure exactly what the the future is going to hold. Now it's quote unquote his team. So the pitchers are warmed up and we are ready for Cubs baseball from Wrigley Field. The Phillies and Cubs are next. Feeding your lawn need not be so difficult, neighbors. Get a load of this bad boy. Whoa. This snap spreader system from Scott's is snap, crack, and simple. Just snap, lock, and go. Feed your lawn. Feed it. Hi there, it's your grandma. Now, I don't like to complain, but yesterday I tried to get my free credit score and the website asked for my credit card. Why do they need my credit card if it's free? Turns out they charge you if you don't cancel the trial. Oh, I was so mad. Then I found CreditKarma.com. They're really free, and they never ask for a credit card. So, Sugar Pie, go check your score. In two minutes, you can get your totally free credit score from CreditKarma.com. Hello. Hello yourself. I've been watching you all night. I noticed. Time for the official toast. Jack, Emma. <laughs> 10th anniversary. <laughs> the research is in. After years together, eHarmony couples report having more chemistry than couples who met in any other way. Stop waiting. Start communicating for free today. They could be anyone. They who? Witches. Afraid of witches or being taken for one? Salem, Sunday, April 20th at 10, 9 central on WGN America. 
Chicago Cubs baseball brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer or go to shophonda.com for current offers. And by AT&T. Find out what's possible with products and services from AT&T. Rethink possible. Cubs baseball in high definition on WGN TV is brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. A lot of lookbacks at uh, great moments in Wrigley Field history. It started as Wheatman Park back in 1914. We'll have the anniversary game on April the 23rd. Exactly 100 years to the date. Cubs and Diamondbacks will wear Federal League uniforms. There were no bleachers in left or center when this ballpark opened. Scoreboard was located in left field first few weeks of that 1914 season. And they did have a press box was on top of the roof behind home plate. According to Vineline some good uh, notes on Wheatman Park in 1914. Let's get Ryan Sandberg's Phillies starting lineup. I mentioned it a big day on opening day scored 14 runs but just five total in a couple of losses the next two days. Ben Revere the leadoff man in center. Uh, Jimmy Rollins not in the lineup actually not here today. So Carlos Ruiz will move up Rollins away uh, with his wife who gave birth to their second child Chase Utley it's third Marlon Bird cleans up Ryan Howard batting fifth that doesn't happen very often. We'll tell you about that as well. Dominic Brown is in left Jason Nix will be the shortstop Cody Ashey is the third baseman and Hernandez the pitcher looking for his first career hit. Well the Cubs defensively this afternoon have Ryan Sweeney in left he can play all the outfield positions uh, Bonifacio in center Nate Scherholz in right field the third to first we go Valbuena Castro Barney and Rizzo Wellington Castillo behind the plate and making his first start of the 2014 season. An all star from 2013 27 year old Travis Wood 9 and 12 but disregard that he was really really good run support a big issue with 311 ERA 200 innings worked really took a big step forward last year in his young career fastball slider cutter change and a curveball a lot of left handed bats in the Phillies lineup that's why Ricky Renteria wanted to save Travis Wood for this series. And your umpires Hal Gibson back of the plate. Dale Scott the crew chief is at first. Dan Isonia is at second and C.B. Buckner is over at third. Here's Ben Revere. We talked about it. The Philly starter Hernandez and how he was going to have to keep that sinker down for Travis Wood. And he's really an extreme fly ball pitcher. He gets a lot of his outs in the air. Despite that, he was able to keep the home run numbers down last year. Part of the reason why he was so good against the righties, it's cutters in, and of course, it's that cutter away to the left-handed hitters. He just needs to stay out of the middle of the strike zone. And we are underway. Strike one called on Revere. The right field foul pole is literally swaying in the wind. Ben Revere has yet to hit a home run in his career. A little bit different this year. We'll uh, mix and match with our uh, statistical graphics. As we see hitters come through the lineup. And a lot of these numbers will change drastically as we're only three games into the season. Revere not a power guy. He's a speed guy, former twin.
All in two strikes on the Phillies leadoff hitter. It's interesting when you contemplate these two clubs and where they are. The Cubs in this rebuilding phase, and the Phillies are in a make one more run at it phase with a very veteran, aged club. Wind in the one two. Bounce to the shortstop. Castro. One away. Time would able to keep the ball on the ground. Nice play by Castro moving through that ground ball. You got to concentrate today when anytime the conditions are out of the mainstream, you know, you can make sure you focus a little bit more. You're extra cold or a real hot day. Everybody's bundled up. We're at 38 degrees and the windshield 28. With that <laughs> west wind at 23 miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, bad, bad for the pitchers that it's blown out. Good for us because if it was blown in, it would be brutal up here in the booth. And throwing on an extra layer. Carlos Ruiz resigned it to a three-year contract plus a club option. Back in mid-November. Two balls and no strikes. How about that? Those two guys involved in one of the best trades the Cubs ever made came over from the Phillies for Ivan De Jesus. And the rest is history. That was prior to the 82 season. Rhino would turn in a Hall of Fame career. And how about Larry Boa, the former Phillies manager, is Rhino's bench yeah. coach. Have come full circle. Ooh, Ball ooh, four and ooh. a close one. Let's take a look on our pitch tracks and see what uh, the verdict was there. Yeah, borderline, but look good enough. And Rick Renteria coming off the first win of his career yesterday in Pittsburgh. They said he got here about seven o'clock this morning. Took him a while to get out of his parking garage because the little car that operates the arm wasn't functioning properly. Chase Utley takes a strike and if the Phillies are going to contend they need him to be healthy all year. Last year 131 games his most. Since 2009 he's always hit well against the Cubs. 284 last year with 18 home runs. He's always been a guy with a high on base percentage. Popped up shallow left center. And Castro called off at the last second by Ryan Sweeney. Two down. You can email us, Len and JD at Tribune.com. You can Facebook us and tweet us. And tweet us your Cubs selfies. Hashtag WGN Cubs for our fan cam segment all season long. Marlon Bird, the former Cub, he's back with the Phillies. Got a two year contract. And he fouls back to the net for a strike. He had the best year of his career last year between the Mets and the Pirates after the worst year of his career the year before. I say worse because he was released and then got suspended for a PED violation. 24 home runs last season. So Sandberg puts him in the uh, Four hole between Utley and Howard breaking up those left handed power bats. Inside. One and two the count is the Wrigley Field 100 logo on the tarp which hopefully won't be used this weekend.
Well, it's get better, isn't it, as the weekend goes along? Into that wind. Sherholt still drifting back, and he's got it on the warning track. So Travis Wood with a walk, but no runs allowed. And the Cubs are coming up against Roberto Hernandez when we come back. Do you or someone you know use catheters? You could be eligible to get up to 200 catheters shipped to your home every month for free. That's right, for free. Simply by calling Comfort Medical right now. And Comfort Medical offers the latest catheter styles from the leading manufacturers, including the new Speedy Cath Compact Male, which is less than half the size of a standard male catheter, and the Speedy Cath Compact Female, designed specifically for the female body. Look, you have plenty of things to worry about. Comfort Medical will deal directly with Medicare and your insurance so you can focus on the important things in life. Call Comfort Medical right now. If you want the newest products delivered discreetly to your door for free, then it's time to discover Comfort Medical. Call Comfort Medical right now. Call Comfort Medical now and ask for free catheter samples for men and women, free shipping, and a free comfort kit with your first order. Call 800-292-2214. That's 800-292-2214. Call Comfort Medical right now. You or someone you know undergo surgery using transvaginal mesh that later required an additional surgery to repair or remove the mesh? The FDA recently issued a warning that transvaginal mesh can cause serious complications such as additional surgery, perforations, vaginal scarring, and mesh erosion or disintegration. Over 30,000 severe complications have been recorded. So far, two jury verdicts have awarded more than $15 million in compensation. Call us right now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-864-1788. Now the Cubs starting lineup written out by Rick Renteria and again changes today. Not at the top. Bonifacio leading off playing center. Castro the shortstop. Rizzo at first. Scherholz is in right. Luis Valbuena gets a nod at third today. Wellington Castillo the catcher. Ryan Sweeney starting in left with Barney at second. And Travis Wood the pitcher. He's already pinch hit this season. Pinch hit before he pitched. How about that? Here are the Phillies uh, defensively this afternoon. Dominic Brown, he's been known to have some troubles out there in left. Revere the speedster in center. Marlon Bird patrols right field. Ashy Nix, he's in there for uh, Jimmy Rollins. Utley and Howard on the right side. And uh, Chooch Ruiz behind the plate for Roberto Hernandez, 33 years of age. You see the numbers last year with Tampa Bay. Primarily as a starter, he did work out of the bullpen some as well. Six and 13 with a four. 89 earned run average. He has faced the Cubs before. And he faced one batter back in 2006 in relief of tomorrow's Phillies starter Cliff Lee. That was in Cleveland making his Wrigley debut and his first start as a Philly. Pitch to Bonifacio misses outside as we thought. He got a huge ovation from the crowd here. After going 11 for 16 to start his Cubs career. Cornerman in and the 1 0 pitch is Ooh, low or outside 2 and 0. It's like uh, this could really <laughs> hurt Hernandez a sinker ball if he's not getting that pitch down around the knees called and he has to elevate. And that will not serve him well at all. Ooh. 90 to 92 with the fastball as I mentioned mostly sinkers. And there's a change up in the slider as well. 6 4 2 30. Mm -hmm. Tardy. Bonifacio late. Tardy on that running fastball. Pinch in at the corners for Bonifacio. Now two strikes. Ashley at third base backs up a little bit. Full count. I'd say Emilio's seeing the ball pretty well. Yeah, you can tell just the way a guy takes a pitch sometimes. Sets up a 3 2, and he swings and misses for strike three. Well, it looks like the game plan for Hernandez and Ruiz is to establish that two seam fastball hurt here early on. A whole bunch of them to Emilio Bonifacio. 
Ultimately gets into swing and miss. You see that CB patch uh -huh. on the chest for the Phillies. Uh, Claire Betts, longtime Phillies owner, uh, passed away on February 6th. So we're honoring her memory this season as Starlin Castro takes strike one. One out of 13 to start the season. That's in the dirt. So 2012, January of that year, Fausto Carmona was arrested in the Dominican for using a false identity to get a U.S. visa. He had previously, as we mentioned, been known as Fausto. Found to be three years older than previously thought. Charges eventually dropped. Had to complete uh, a work program in the Dominican. Spent most of the season on the restricted than the suspended list. That's in the rearview mirror now, and he's Roberto Hernandez. Two and two. Another one of those players to be named later. Right. As Castro strikes out, two down. He's off to a nice start here this afternoon. Again, nothing fancy, just one sinking fastball after another. The run on that thing. Moved a foot and a half. He changes his approach with Rizzo. Rizzo swings, sends a high drive to deep center. Revere is back, and he's got it right up against the vines. Gave it a ride, but that's the third out. We're scoreless after one. This is the car I fell in love with. Picking up my new Malibu. No way. In March, over 100,000 people visited our open house event and brought home a new Chevy. Oh, this me. month, it's All your right. turn. Yeah. New lineup, new showrooms, and a new experience. Come find your Chevy today. Right now, get this sign and drive lease on a 2014 Chevy Malibu LT for around $249 per month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. What does everything mean to you? With the Quicksilver Cashback Card from Capital One, it means unlimited 1.5% cashback on everything you purchase every day. It doesn't mean everything as long as you buy it at the gas station. It doesn't mean everything until you hit your cashback limit. It means earn 1.5% cashback on every purchase, every place, every occasion, all over creation. That's what everything should mean. So consider, what's in your wallet? How did we do it last time? I don't know, I forget. Feeding your lawn need not be so difficult, neighbors. Get a load of this bad boy. Whoa. This snap spreader system from Scott's is snap, crack, and simple. Just snap, lock, and go. Feed your lawn. Feed it. Did you put everything you own in boxes and then into a truck? And then take everything out of the truck and out of the boxes? You know the answers to questions like that, so you're the best person to do your taxes. Intuit TurboTax. It's amazing what you're capable of. Wait! Prilosex not made for immediate heartburn relief. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. Prilosec can take 24 hours. Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Bulls, Wizards, Saturday, 70 Four West on WGN America. One inning here at Wrigley, and we remain scoreless. Cup fans, if you want to manage the game along with Rick Renteria, log on to WGNTV.com right now. And click on the WGN Sports Game Zone banner to connect to all the up-to-the-minute stats and information while you're watching from home. Game Zone is sponsored by The Great Escape and Pools, Patio Sets, Play Sets, Hot Tubs. Ooh, boy, does that sound good. And more. I haven't had a chance to walk around the entire ballpark, but uh, saw a couple of those murals out on the walls beyond the bleachers. Just beautiful. Celebrating the century of baseball here. In the friendly confines, Ryan Howard will lead it off in the second, batting fifth, and he swings and misses. This is the first time the Cubs 
have faced him since 2011. Second time in the first four games of the Phillies season, he's batted fifth. On Tuesday in Texas, he had a streak of batting cleanup in his previous 665 starts snapped. It had dated back to 2008, and it was against the lefty. He's very right vulnerable to that left handed breaking ball. Yeah. And reserving the right to move him around a little bit against certain guys. Yeah, well, it's, you know, putting yourself in a hole if you just continue to manage based on what, you know, a guy's resume or the back of his baseball card. Player's skill set changes over time, and Howard, not the player he once was, still a dangerous bat. I mean, a buck 73 against lefties last year. And Wood carved him up nicely, a couple breaking balls early, and then slips this piece of cheese by him right over the outside corner. Howard protecting you trying to stay back because he doesn't want to get fooled by the breaking ball but a little late to the party on the, the Swifty from Wood. It's the eighth time he has struck out in his first 15 trips. Now Dominic Brown takes ball one. Led the Phillies with 27 homers last year and was an all-star in his first season as an everyday player. According to C.B. Buckner. One and two on Travis Wood. Back to 2010. And his third career start, he was a Cincinnati Red. And he went into Philadelphia and took a perfect game into the bottom of the ninth. It's a time for Darwin Barney. Two outs. Celebrate 100 years of Wrigley Field all season long. Tickets are still available for the rest of this opening week of baseball in Wrigley Field. The Cubs will play two more against the Phillies, followed by three with the Pirates to purchase seats. Visit Cubs.com. So what takes a perfect game into the bottom of the ninth? Gave up a leadoff double to break up the no-no. He got out of the inning to send it to extras. And ended up with a no decision. The Phillies won it 1-0 in 11. So you go nine innings, you give up one hit, you don't allow a run, and you can't win. That's yeah. That's, well, the problem is he faced Roy Halladay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. Well, in that Philly club that won five consecutive division titles, they had a lot of firepower, but boy, that pitching is what really grabbed your attention. And Halliday was the lead dog for most of it. Nothing in two on Jason Nix filling in today, as we mentioned, for Jimmy Rollins. Rollins uh, having a baby, or actually his wife did. Um, so he's away from the club. He's supposed to be coming to town today. We'll be ready to go tomorrow. So the Phillies are playing a little bit short, just a four man bench for Ryan Sandberg this afternoon. Swung on and missed. Two K's in the inning, and the Phillies go down quietly. One, two, three. They could be anyone. They who? Witches! Afraid of witches or being taken for one? Salem, Sunday, April 20th at 10, 9 Central on WGN America. Buy one suit, get two absolutely free at Joseph A. Bank. Incredible value on incredible quality. Buy one traditional or slim fit suit, get two more free. Right now, only at Joseph A. Bank. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. 
If you have had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you with problems from your surgery. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses and lost wages, as well as pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Find out now if you are eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion HIP Settlement Fund. Friendly representatives are standing by to take your call. You may be entitled to receive significant compensation by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Call now. Call 855-724-2469. That's 855-724-2469. 855-724-2469. Whatever speed you want to go, one mower will match your pace. Personal pace technology, only from Toro. White Sox, Royals, Saturday, 1.30 East on WGN America. Cubs baseball is brought to you by Budweiser, the official beer of Major League Baseball. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Former Philly, Nate Sherholtz leads off the Cubs second. Chilly day. Lights are on with the overcast conditions. Hernandez sharp in the first inning. A couple of strikeouts. Talked about how to combat the elements here and keep the ball on the ground as opposed to the air but if you punch a bunch of people out that certainly helps too. Line to center but it's going to hold up for Revere. Oh we have a chance let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. They could be anyone. Salem, Sunday, April 20th on WGN America. We are at Wrigley Field. We have the Phillies and the Cubs. And we, Glenn Casper and Jim Deshays, your announcers. <laughs> Luis Valbuena, ball one outside. I'm Len Casper, Rush Chairman. I'm glad to meet you. I referenced uh, this earlier. Cole Hamels is on the disabled list. He has left biceps tendonitis. And he'll be starting a minor league rehab assignment this weekend, as is Jake Arietta. He's on the DL with the Cubs. Matt Latos on a rehab assignment with the Reds, and he faced Chris Bryant to start the season last night. Bryant took him deep. Double A Southern League. 3 0 on Valbuena. It's going to be fun to keep a watch, uh, keep an eye on those kids as they progress down on the farm this year. <laughs> Minor League season kicking off yesterday. They made a home run this first spring training at bat as well. First game right. at least. Well, remember his first pro game last year was at 0 for 5 with five strikeouts. Mm -hmm. Just setting him up. Win might keep this ball in play. It does. And what a catch by Ruiz. Boy, wind uh, blowing in or not blowing at all, and is probably 10 rows behind the screen. And a pop up behind home plate's going to have some come on back spin on it, and then you factor in the the breeze and. The key here is just don't pan a quick feet. He's lucky he didn't clip the wall and go down. But that's a heck of a play by the veteran backstop for the Phillies. Great concentration. And you get a sense there of what he's dealing with. His counterpart, Wellington Castillo, got the day off yesterday after catching 16 innings on Wednesday night. You know how you practice catching the ball like that? Little kids, there little seed pods come out of the tree. We, I think we used to call yeah. them helicopters. Yeah. You throw them up in the air, and the way they flutter this way and that. 
That's how you practice. That's good. Castile crushes one deep to left. Gone. Back of the bleachers, and it's one nothing Cubs. You know how you catch that one? With your eyes closed. That was blistered. Oh my. That did not need any wind. I would have been out of here on one of those days where the wind's blowing hard in from left. This kind of fits exactly what we were talking about with Hernandez. When he's down, he's good. When he's up, look out. Got all of it, and the Cubs have the early lead. One out to Sweeney. That low strike that time on a changeup. One and two. Hernandez, like most sinker ballers, works pretty quickly. To him in with a fastball. He needs to keep his defenders engaged. Yeah, and guys that throw more two seamers than four seamers tend to get the ball put in play more readily. Two four seam fastball guys work up in the zone. They get a lot of balls fouled back, fouled off. Ooh, that was nasty. Wellington Castile blasting one into the bleachers, and the Cubs lead one nothing. USS Missouri's been hijacked, and it's up to one man to stop them. Steven Seagal, Under Siege, Sunday at 8 on WGN America. You don't worry that you won't wake up for your early meeting. Gotta go! Because you trust technology to wake you up at 6.15 on the dot. You don't wonder if you should drink the milk. Technology put a date on it, and the date says, drink me, man, I'm good. You don't worry you're going to miss your show because technology will record it. And you don't have to worry that you'll get your taxes wrong because TurboTax technology will check and double-check your answers. And then check them again. Intuit TurboTax. It's amazing what you're capable of. Okay, neighbors, here's the top draw, Skinny. Scotts wraps each seed in a brilliant Water Smart Plus coating that feeds, protects, and holds in moisture to make growing thicker, healthier grass easier. Now let's spread your newfound knowledge. Seed your lawn. Seed it. Anybody have occasional constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating? One Phillips Colon Health Probiotic Cap each day helps defend against these digestive issues with three types of good bacteria. I should probably take this. Live the regular life. Phillips. Buy one suit, get two absolutely free at Joseph A. Bank. Incredible value on incredible quality. Buy one traditional or slim fit suit, get two more free. Right now, only at Joseph A. Bank. The draw last is tough. It can take the cold and the heat. Trust me, this battery can beat a pure battery. Duralast, proven tough. Get in the zone. Fans, make sure you check out Len and JD's baseball blog at WGNTV.com. It's sponsored by Jeff Vukovic, your nationwide insurance agent, serving the area for 36 years. To join the nation, contact Jeff at JeffVuk.com. Nationwide is on your side. We have some uh, Cubs Phillies historical notes here at Wrigley Field and uh, remembering Tuffy Rhodes 20 years ago. Three homer game against White Good. We get into the third inning. And great to have with us in the booth Cubs chairman Tom Ricketts. Tom, happy uh, home opener. Yeah, thanks. Uh, happy home op opener to you guys too. Weather cooperating generally. It's dry. That's the number one thing. And uh, cold, but the wind blowing out today. Yeah, yeah, it's cold and the wind's blowing out, but we got a great crowd and it's uh, just great to get to see this started. We saw you a lot in uh, spring training, the beautiful brand new Cubs Park. It's pretty much sold out every single day. Cubs setting all kinds uh, yeah. of Cactus well, League records. Yeah, that was just incredible. It was a uh, such a great experience to go through that, and then the, the out, you know, the results were so great. And to have 15,000 people plus for every one of those games is really tremendous. And 
very happy with it also turned out great for the players too as you guys know the players are very happy with the workout facility there and um, and we're uh, we're excited to you know, we're excited to keep that going and hopefully one of these days get this ballpark fixed up too so well some changes made uh, over the winter the ballpark looks great yeah we're doing our best it's Cody Ashy uh, one two is fouled out of play Roger Baird and his grounds crew a ton of credit. He <laughs> endured one of the roughest winters ever. And um, I think a lot of people a month ago thought there's no way they're going to play baseball on April 4th. But well, they great. had to bring in the space heaters and tent parts of the park to, to get the ice off. But uh, <laughs> Roger knows what he's doing. He got it all done. Another one, two, and another foul. We heard a lot about the polar vortex and <laughs> permafrost and... <laughs> And now we get to see green grass and play baseball. And that's the, that's the beautiful thing. Not only is it opening day, but uh, for a lot of fans, it's like kind of a harbinger, right? Of spring is here, and the really warm weather is just around the corner. Yeah, no doubt. Let, let's hope that uh, that tough winter earned us a nice spring. Yeah. That's why it's supposed to work, right? You pay your dues and you get so. rewarded in the end. Sounds fair to me. Your impressions of the ball club? I like it. I like it. I think, uh, you know, I, I think we've, you know, got a different mix. Got some good young guys coming along and um, a little more speed. Hopefully, you know, we'll hit a little better with runners in scoring position going forward. But, you know, uh, I, I think it's going to be a fun year. A little more depth in the bullpen. Um, I think, you know, I think we've uh, really improved. Full count. The pitcher Hernandez is on deck. I think we have a, a lot of platoon flexibility, mm -hmm. a lot of. Uh, a lot of a lot of mixing and matching this year is what I you know what you know what we see and and um, I'm sure Ricky will do a great job of putting the right guys on the field. Hey, off delivery, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Well, let's go back 20 years here at the ballpark. 1994. Tuffy Rhodes becoming part of Cubs lore by homering. Three times off Dwight Gooden and the Mets. And then would go on to be a home run champion in Japan. <laughs> Looks a little warmer on that day <laughs> than today. I want to know is how the guy had the foresight to bring a Tuffy Rhodes for president sign to the ballpark that day. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see the, the four Hall of Famers out on the uh, field today. Uh, nice gesture, Ryan Sandberg, uh, joining Billy Ernie yeah, very nice. today. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. I know that embracing the uh, former Cubs has been uh, a priority for the ball club, and I think for the players, Tom, it's huge to, to stand around a batting cage and talk with Billy Williams, who can break down a guy's swing in about three seconds. Talk to Ernie about life and baseball. Fergie did everything he could do as a pitcher, and I think it's great for the for the young players who may not even be that familiar with their career to get to know them and learn about Cubs history. Well, we're really blessed with terrific Hall of Famers. I mean, just great people. Obviously, after great baseball careers, um, but we, we really have that going for us, which is a great thing. We also have a lot of other veterans that'll that'll hang with us in the spring training and just try to help out where they can, give players advice where they can, and that's important. Ball strike three. So two outs and back to the top and Ben Revere. Well the multi-generational thing is important too because that's that's the nature of baseball fandom. Parents bring their kids to the ballpark, grandparents come with their kids and you know they could talk about yeah I saw this guy play and he could do this so you pass it on from one generation to the next. There was a great piece I don't know if you guys heard it on NPR this morning about, about the Cubs and about Wrigley Field and they interviewed one of the uh, fire chiefs across the way and they just talked about the history of the ballpark and the sensibility of being here and you know. We talked to one of the ushers, and that's what he said. Every day in his section, there's a father uh, helping his young kid learn how to keep score, and part of the charm. Baseball is about family, and it's also the sport you go to when you actually want to speak to the person you're with. I mean, it's something where you, there's a rhythm, a rhythm and a cadence to it. You can have a conversation. You can all know when there's an important moment you have to concentrate. It builds to some of its drama. You know, it's, it's got it's got a it's got a flow that really helps you with when you're with someone and you want and you want to see them and want to talk to them and it's such an easy thing for you to bring your kids or to bring your parents or whatever whatever it works out 
and have a really nice, pleasant memory of the day. 2 0 is fouled off. We, we alluded to it in Pittsburgh as we got the season underway. Uh, welcome to the Daily Soap Opera. It, it's also every day the sport, something new every single day. Absolutely. Well, that's the beauty of sport in general. I mean, sports, are, sports have been around as long as civilization. And it's the fact that you don't know what's going to happen that makes him so compelling. To be close, safe. Revere runs really well. All right, are we going to uh, review that? <laughs> See if Ricky comes out. We had a lot of them, didn't we, in Pittsburgh? Yeah, I, uh, I, I believe they got it right. It's a pretty good play here by Castro. Revere just very, very speedy. Yeah, okay. Well, as we celebrate 100 years here at Wrigley, uh, we'll see a lot of old uniforms, uh, different themes for the home stands, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a season-long celebration. Yeah, you know, we thought, you know, it's a, uh, it's Wrigley's birthday. Let's stretch it for the season and, and really have fun with it. So, obviously, April 23rd will be the official 100th birthday, commemorating the first game 100 years ago. And then weekends will be themed with uh, the decade, teens, 20s, 30s kind of thing. And We'll have a throwback jersey every every Sunday. We'll have a bobblehead every Friday from that decade. Different foods, different drinks, just a lot of fun all summer. And um, hopefully everyone will get a chance to come out a handful of times and see the different things we're doing on the various weekends. Of those uniforms were on display at the Cubs convention this year. And I thought the highlight of the convention, of the opening ceremonies, you know, in years past, the Cubs would have, uh, I remember when Jeff Samarja uh, signed his major league contract before he ever got here. He was kind of the one guy in the minor league system they were focusing on that year. Tom, there were like 15 to 20 minor league kids, and all the fans knew all of them. Yeah. So right. we talk about the past, and we honor what's going on here, but there's a lot to look forward to in terms of the future as well. well you know, I walk around the park every game for several innings, and... People know. People know Chris Bryant. People know Javier Baez. People know C.J. Edwards. They ask about him, and they will. And with the internet, or with uh, you know, with with MILB TV, you can watch them. So people people are really familiar with the minor league players. They know it's part of our overall story. They stay close to it, and they're watching it develop. One-one pitch inside on Ruiz. Chris Bryant goes deep in his first double-A at bat. <laughs> Off Matt Latos is down on a rehab assignment. And all of a sudden, people are probably asking me, when are you going to get Bryant up here? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Is that guy hit a home run in every first at bat? I at think every, so, yeah. at every level? Yeah, it's kind of it certainly good. feels that way. Oh, he's an exciting young player with, with a, uh, a great head on his shoulders. And we think he's going to be a, a, a real cornerstone of this team someday. But we also got to give him time to make sure that develops the way that uh, we want him to and not to rush him. So as a owner fan, do you have any special memories of opening day here at Wrigley? You know, I've been to a handful of opening days and they were all about like this. And they're kind of cold and wet. Mm -hmm. But um, but nothing in particular that comes really to specifically to an opening day. Tom, I think somebody stole your seat today. Oh. Can we have her removed or is that yeah, right. who is that? <laughs> Who's that little poacher? That's Laura Ricketts sitting down there with Senator Durbin. Where he's to yeah, great to have Senator Durbin on uh, President Preckley. Our pregame show President today. Kelly. There's the mayor. There's the mayor. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to head down and hang out with those guys here in a minute. I've got a piece of Ruiz. Beer with the infield single. And Ruiz hit by a pitch. Sudden Travis went in a little bit of a bind here. Two quick outs and then the infield single before this the hit batsman, and now he'll have to deal with Chase Utley. You referred to replay earlier. Uh, obviously, a, a, kind of a fundamental shift. We had a little replay before. Um, it's a small sample size, but do you like it? You know, I, I think I think it'll work out, and we'll have to see how it plays out throughout the year. Um, I, I think it's been relatively efficient and they get through it and I've been to the replay room in New York at Major League Baseball and um, I think it'll work it also is a nice thing for the umpires so the umpires will get a couple weeks actually 20 games a year I think they're going to get actually in the replay booth in New York so they got a long summer too and they're on the road for them to take a little time off and 
and uh, be in New York will be nice. And then it also is part of that deal for other ballparks, ones with video boards, they can show some of the more controversial replays, which was right, against. We had that in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah which was against the, uh, which was kind of like uh, the understanding with the umpires that they wouldn't do that up until up until this season. So I think it's a win-win, as long as um, you know, as long as they can make it efficient and we can overturn a few bad calls here and there. I think it'll be a, a big victory. Phillies rallying here with two outs. 1-0 pitch to Utley. A little bit outside. Tight zone today for Hal Gibson. Yeah, I'll give him this. He's been consistent. You know, that pitch down there pretty much been a ball three or four different times now. So normally is called a strike. I think as a pitcher catcher tandem, you can't give up on it. You have to keep trying to make your pitch. This is strike two and one. Well, I tell you, you think on a cooler day like this, the strike's going to be a little larger, huh? <laughs> I know. Move the game along and go to dinner. You're talking to the get warm. He always <laughs> likes the strike zone big. Oh, in a way, it's three and one. So, any updates on, on the ballpark? Or Renovation plan, or uh, we're working stuff. through the plans. Obviously, we've got a few things we have to iron out before we can fully start the uh, the major renovation. We did a lot on the off season. If you notice, we got some new ivy in left field there. The uh, the if you see on left like that, we took down the ivy and um, and basically set it on the ground, replaced the brick, and then put the ivy back mm -hmm. up. So um, and there was a lot of we did a fair amount of steel work in the off season. So uh, we've done some things to make sure that the, the parks are you know, in reasonable shape, but the major renovations uh, really kind of have to wait to iron out a few things mm -hmm. on what our future is and what our ability to control the uh, the roof, uh, control the outfield is. Right. Three and two, the runners will get a head start. Jim Utley, he has hit over 300 in his career against the Cubs and in this ballpark. And a ground ball picked up by Luis Valbuena. Two. There we go. Get Travis Wood out of the inning. Tom, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the day. All right. Well, good to see you guys and have a great season. Thank you. You may not realize it, but we use produce picked at its peak of flavor and delivered to us fresh daily at Golden Corral. And each of our restaurants only serves the freshest, never-frozen USDA sirloin. We even hand-peel russet potatoes every day to make the freshest, best-tasting mashed potatoes in America. And right now, you can taste the difference with our new weekend dinner spotlights. Friday is our new fish fry. Saturday is all your hot-off-the-grill favorites. And Sunday is our premium Carver's Buffet. For one low price, it's something new and different every night of the week, and it's only at Golden Corral. My name is Jay Wright. I'm the head basketball coach at Villanova University. How important are decision-making skills in your profession? They're absolutely vital. Well, then, as a decision-maker, which one would you choose? This one that cleans or this one that cleans and protects against dryness? That one? That's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. You got one question for me? More care is better. It's an easy decision. Dove Men Plus Care Body Wash cleans and protects against dryness. Way off. Try the picante. A little more to the left. We're trying our best, sir. Maybe the round one. You're not very good at this, are you? Fire all four. Are you serious? I'm waiting. Make it rain. Bullseye. Four flavors, four shapes. Cheetos mix-ups. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna mow the lawn, then we'll play catch, all right? Okay, I'll grab my glove. Is it some strange phenomenon? Or is it the time-saving ability of the Time Cutter Z with Smart Speed? Bulls, Wizards, Saturday, 7 East, 4 West on WGN America. Once again, tweet us your Cubs selfies. And if you don't know what that is, if you have like a, a an iPhone or some sort of phone with a camera, you turn the thing around and take a picture of yourself. Selfie at uh, hashtag WGN Cubs. I 
we will try to include it in our fan cam segment. It's been a very popular response. Cubs lead 1-0. Thanks to Chairman Tom Ricketts. Spending a half inning with us as Darwin Barney looks at a strike. Look at 0 and 2. Hernandez uh, two seamers should really fit into Barney's strength. You see him turning on that sinker, moving down and in. Signed as a free agent on December 18th, All Star in 2010. Ooh. Boy, that one really ran in on Barney. Okay, I think he's calling a foul ball. Said it hit the bat. Barney tried to sell it. We may have a possible review here, depending on what Rick Renteria wants to do. I'm sure the guys in the video room are already looking at it to I can't tell you know normal, normally you could tell by the hitters reaction. Um, Barney's such a clever guy you know <laughs> you could see him selling it. But he also isn't arguing that much. Right right. That's. <laughs> Did hit his arm. I can't, it's hard to I tell. Can't tell. I hit his arm. Yep. So now the question is can he review it? Hernandez is standing on the mound. He's ready to work. I think it was Bud Black the other night who was denied a challenge because he took too long. Darwin Barney is now, he's getting information from the dugout and he's going over to tell Renteria to go ahead and challenge it. Yeah, no, hit his arm. This is a long discussion. Right, so so I, I get the sense that the umpires are telling uh, Renteria that he cannot challenge us for whatever reason. Sure, I understand it, but I get a base hit. Runner to third, and it eats up Ashy. Justice is served. The ninth annual race to Wrigley presented by Athletico Physical Therapy takes place on Saturday, April 12th. Starts here at Wrigley Field. Participants will run through the Lakeview, uh, Lakeview neighborhood and finish under the legendary marquee at Clark and Addison. To register, visit race to Wrigley.com. Registration is limited to the first 10,000 runners, so sign up today. It's just around the corner. E5 Base hit. or knock? No, they gave him a hit. Bunted by Wood and foul. One thing has been a little problematic for the Cubs here in the early going. Jeff Samarja bunted into a double play in his game. 
All right, I have the hit by pitch section of replay. Uh -huh. uh, here's an example. Pitch strikes the batter. Umpire erroneously, erroneously rules that the pitch struck the bat and rules foul ball. Which is what happened. The manager on offense appropriately invokes replay and the replay official reverses the call. So I don't know if they just thought in the Cubs uh, video room that uh, it was inconclusive or if Ricky didn't have time to challenge. He was out there for a couple of minutes. Or <laughs> the other option is yes. they told him and he said it's it's the third inning. I'm going to save my challenge. I don't know. We'll yeah. find out yeah. later. Ultimately, as you said, the point was moot because Barney reached anyway. Uh, get the head of the bat out in front. There you go. Good adjustment. Hernandez will have to get it to Utley covering first. Third time's a charm. I'd like to have a guy like Barney in the eight hole because he runs pretty well. He's not a speed demon but he runs pretty good and, and so when you're trying to sacrifice him along you don't have to get a perfect bunt down to make that happen. Tip strike one. Bonifacio struck out first time up. He was behind a Hernandez fastball and that at bat, and he's a little late here as well. A bit inside. Most of what he's seen has been two seamers running away from him and Pretty good at punching that ball the other way, slapping it through that shortstop hole, flipping one into left field. Revere will make the catch, and Barney will have to get back to second. The other thing that could have happened, yes, is, and I give Dave Halfett felt uh, on Twitter props here for bringing up this did how Gibson say that Barney swung at the pitch and if that's the case it doesn't matter if it hit him it's a strike let's see that's possible that would not be reviewable yeah I didn't see him make any indication though But at least a possibility. This is why we got to mic them up like we, they do in the NFL. We can explain to the crowd what the call was. But if that were the case, again, I don't know why Ricky would have been allowed to argue for two minutes. Ground ball, diving stop by Utley. That's all he can do is stop it. Throw to the plate. Save. Barney got in. Two nothing. Great hustle, great send by Gary Jones, the third base coach. Even with Utley able to knock that ball down, Jones just kept on waving, and Barney able to scramble home for the Cubs' second run. I mean, a good look here. You see the aggressive secondary lead. Utley doing what he's supposed to do. Leave his feet to try to keep the ball in the infield. But there was no hesitation on the part of Barney. Nor Gary Jones. There was a knock and an RBI for Starlin Castro. But an infield hit for an RBI. Scoring the run from second base.
And the pitch to Rizzo. He pops into shallow right. Second baseman Utley calling and catching, and the inning is over. The Cubs get a run on two hits and lead 2 0 after three. Don't worry. The United States Postal Service will get it there on time with priority mail flat rate shipping. Our priority has always been saving the day because our priority amazing is you. The amazing Spider-Man 2 delivered by the United States Postal Service. could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know Pinocchio was a bad motivational speaker? I look around this room and I see nothing but untapped potential. You have potential. You have... Oh, boy. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Weiser, the official beer of Major League Baseball. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Rick Renteria and Hal Gibson spent two more minutes talking between innings about the foul ball slash hit by pitch. Uh, it was not a swing because he would have been called out. It was a one-two pitch. So the call had to be foul ball. Marlon Bird taps foul. Give a shout out to our good friend Joe Shanahan, owner of Metro and right across the street on Clark. Hope you're feeling better, Joe. I know he's watching at home today, rooting on the Cubs. One and two. Cut her in. Trying to jam him. Didn't get it in. And again, quality pitch, but oh. the pitchers are just not going to get that call today from Gibson. One of the reasons why Travis Wood was so successful last year. The ability to backdoor his cut fastball to right handed hitters. He's always been able to throw it in on their hands. He really commanded the outside part of the play with it last year as well. Lined drop by Valbuena, and he literally boots it to Castro. And he will be charged with an error. Now, if he's able to recover it. Uh, after he knocked it down, he still would have had Bird because Bird hesitated a little bit. You hit the ball in the line list, it's right at somebody, you assume you're out. You see, he's ready to break it down. Then he sees the ball down and off he goes. And then too late for Castro to make a play. So 
leadoff man is on now. Ryan Howard. It's the second half last year with a left knee injury. And that'll get down into right. It'll send Bird all the way around to third. Howard will hold with a single, and the Phillies are in business. They have him cornered here with nobody out. Just didn't finish the pitch. He had Howard waving at that slider down and away last time up. This time, it stays up in the zone. Cubs will look for two. They'll concede a run here to get two outs on a ground ball. By the way, I saw some internet conversation about Mike Olt hit his uh, first big league home run yesterday. Why not in the lineup today? And uh, Renteria talked about that with the media before the game. Still protecting that right shoulder a little bit. And kind of a cold, damp day today. Not in the lineup. And Luis Valbuena, left handed hitter against sinker baller Hernandez. Sure, we'll see Alt tomorrow against Cliff Lee. Yeah. There's a school of thought in baseball, right? That if a guy has a good day today, he's got to be in the lineup tomorrow because he's hot. And you know, reality says, well, you know, how do you know he's going to be hot tomorrow? And if the matchup favors going with a left-handed bat, it makes sense to do that. On a hop, and Castro can't handle it, and Bird is in. That should be a base hit for Dominic Brown. To get the Phillies on the board. Pretty solid contact from the Phillies here in this inning off of Travis Wood. And there had not been much solid contact off of him prior to this inning, but all three balls well struck. This is just good hitting here by Dominic Brown. It's how quiet the lower body is, just uses his hands. The ball just eats Castro up. So how about the Phillies. They got shut out in their final three consecutive spring training games. They then went to Texas. They pounded out 14 runs on 17 hits on opening day. And then they scored five total in their next two games. So it's really been all or nothing for them here the last week or so. Nix takes a strike. Swing and a miss 0 and 2. Just got Knicks last Friday from Tampa Bay for cash considerations. Turn up the space heaters in the bullpen. Swing and a miss strike three. Much needed first out for Wood. Well, there's no panic in Travis Wood. As we saw last year when he get into trouble. He continued to execute, make good pitches. He was able to avoid the big innings. in the air deep left center Bonifacio's got it right up against the vines Howard will tag and head to third as she just missed a three run homer nice grab by Bonifacio as down in the eighth hole but ultimately I think he's going to be more of a middle of the order type hitter as he develops. Good looking young hitter gives this one a pretty good ride. 
having flashbacks to Tuffy Rhodes. Those three home runs we showed you from 20 years ago, all of them to kind of center, left center. Hernandez makes contact, but he bounces to Barney, and that'll take him right to the bag to end the inning. The Phillies get an unearned run. It's 2 1 Cubs. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. The all-new Chevy Silverado. From the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. The truck that beats any Ford F-150 in fuel economy. And the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. And now, during Chevy Truck Month, the price you see is the price you pay for a 2014 Chevy Silverado. Use special Truck Month pricing to get a total value of over $8,100 on this Silverado All-Star Edition with best-in-class V8 fuel economy. Get to Truck Month at your Chevy dealer today. Looking at the list of ingredients, you might think to yourself, it can't be that hard to bake a batch of Stacy's pita chips. But you'd be wrong. There's an art to bake the perfect pita, and at Stacy's, there are no shortcuts. Batches are freshly prepared, gently rested overnight, halved, cut, and then baked again. It's not the easy way, but it's the better way. That's the Stacy's way, and we're not messing with it. This is the Quicksilver Cashback Card from Capital One. It's not the limit your hard-earned cashback card. It's not the confused by rotating categories card. It's the no category gaming, no look passing, clear the lane, I'm going up strong, backboard breaking cashback card. This is the Quicksilver Cashback Card from Capital One. Unlimited 1.5% cashback on every purchase every single day. I'll ask again. What's in your wallet? The Chicago Cubs would like to take this moment to thank Sergeant Cavazos, along with all of our servicemen and women, for their selfless dedication, courage, and sacrifice in protecting our freedom and defending this great country. Great hand for Sergeant Carlos Cavazos. Today's military recognition on opening day. I love the bunting on the graphic. That's very festive. Yeah, well done. Yep, yep. Job by the graphics department. Two to one. That's called bunting. There's got to be a reason. I guess it's like asking why is a tree a tree. Just ponder such things. <laughs> It's a type of uh, fabric. Oh. Nate Sherholtz skies out of the deep right. Bird's got some room. And he makes a catch. You would think a ball hit like that on a day like today would blow out of here. But alas. A long out. Wrigleyville rooftops has premier seating for up to 200 for corporate gatherings, family reunions, and bachelor or bachelorette parties. Individual group tickets are available for all games. For more details, go to WrigleyvilleRooftops.com or call 773-248-ROOF. Well, chilly out there today. Builds character. Oh, Buena's error led to the unearned run top of this inning. Three out of eight to start the year. Slightly open stance. So I want to finish the point on Olt earlier. Talking about, you know, yeah. some questioning why Mike Olt wasn't in there today. And I mean, I'm not discounting, you know, the hot hand theory. Certainly a guy like Bonifacio as well as he's swinging it, you'd put him in the lineup. Um, but if there's mitigating circumstances like platoon advantage by having a, another left handed bat in there. We talked about all the, you know, transitioning a little bit more slowly because of the, the shoulder problems. 
chance that he might have to make a tough throw in a wet field today I think factored into it as well. Plus you want to keep all your guys involved. That's the advantage the Cubs have on their roster today or, or this year. They've got versatility. They've got left and right handed bats they can use from a lot of different positions on the field. And that's the strategy going forward. That's what Ricky Renteria intends on doing. The one out walk. Mike first major league home run coming yesterday in Pittsburgh. He's going to get his chances. He's been there tomorrow, I suspect, with Lee on the mound, the lefty. Castillo thumped one into the back of the left field bleachers his first time up. The pitch. Slider strike. It was after the Castile home run where Hernandez changed his plan a little bit and I probably should say Ruiz the veteran catcher was putting down the fingers and they were one sinker after another and then Castillo went deep and then he started to mix in more change ups and sliders. Castillo's backup, John Baker, had uh, quite a collision with Pedro Strope on a popped up bunt late in the game yesterday. Everybody fortunately was okay. I saw John today. He said, I thought they were trying to get rid of collisions in baseball. <laughs> Look, his bat, and that little liner is going to be caught by Nix. Valbuena able to get back to first. If you could not attend today's home opener to get your Magnus schedule, then come tomorrow. The Cubs match up against these Phillies for a Saturday 120 start. The first 30,000 fans, 21 and over, get the official 2014 Cubs Magnus schedule presented by Budweiser. To purchase tickets, visit Cubs.com. Sweeney with two outs inside ball one. Off the outside corner. And it's two and oh. This is the 868th time the Phillies have played the Cubs here at Wrigley Field. And some memorable moments. Check out our WGN baseball blog as we mentioned earlier. A lot of people remember Mike Schmidt who homered in four consecutive at bats back in 1976 here. Nobody will forget the 23 22 game in 1979. <laughs> Phillies were the Cubs opponent the first night game that eventually got rained out in 1988. And in 1918 J.D. on July 17th the Cubs beat the Phillies 2 to 1 in 21 innings. Milt Watson a right hander <laughs> for the Phillies. Lefty Tyler, a left-hander for the Cubs, went the distance. Back when men were men. Watson went 20 innings, gave up 19 hits, two runs, faced 82 batters. Yeah, well, <laughs> obviously the game was a little bit different back in the day. It would have been funny if there's a pitching coach with a little clicker counting his pitches. Yeah. Well, uh, Skip, he's up to 307. Uh, what do you think? Should we get the bullpen up? Uh, that is, to this day, the longest game in terms of innings in Philadelphia Phillies history. Go, go, go. 
Another 3 2 with Valbuena on the move and a ball hit on the ground to Utley. To end the inning, we've completed four at Wrigley and the Cubs lead the Phillies 2 to 1. If you're a woman and you're sick and tired of watching your hair get thinner and thinner, we're about to challenge everything you think you know about hair loss. Because we're going to send you a 30-day risk-free trial of a product that fights women's hair loss. It contains the only FDA-approved ingredient clinically proven to regrow hair. It's part of our Karenique system for thicker, fuller hair. Call in the next five minutes to request your risk-free trial. You're going to be amazed by what you see. Karenique is formulated especially for women and includes a hair treatment that helps prevent premature hair loss and regrow thicker, fuller hair. Karenique is also sulfate-free, so it's gentle for color-treated hair. Ladies, it's finally your turn to be free from the embarrassment of hair loss. Call 1-800-690-4694 in the next five minutes. Try Karenique before you buy it, but hurry, supplies are extremely limited. For your risk-free trial, call 1-800-690-4694. That's 1-800-690-4694. My teacher, Mr. Higgins, met a lady he really likes. Nice. No, he met her on one of those other sites, not eHarmony.com. Oh? I told him it would never last. Caroline. I told him eHarmony.com has made more marriages than anyone else. That's true. And eHarmony.com has all the hot babes. I never said that. I improvised. Stop waiting. Start communicating for free today. You don't worry that you won't wake up for your early meeting Gotta go! because you trust technology to wake you up at 6.15 on the dot. You don't wonder if you should drink the milk. Technology put a date on it and the date says, drink me, man, I'm good. You don't worry you're going to miss your show because technology will record it. And you don't have to worry that you'll get your taxes wrong because TurboTax technology will check and double check your answers and then check them again. Intuit TurboTax. It's amazing what you're capable of. Let's take a look at the Cubs for an upcoming schedule. Day games the rest of this weekend back on WGN on Sunday. Off day Monday, and then the Pirates come to town starting with a night game on Tuesday. Ford, go further in any one of Ford's many fuel-efficient vehicles. Check out America's freshest lineup at your local Ford store or at localfordstores.com. First start of the year for last year's Cubs All-Star Travis Wood, and he leads 2-1. Goes with a curveball mm -hmm. at 69 on Revere and it missed. Pulling well, another tool out of that toolbox. Broken foot did Revere's season early last year. And he was red hot before he got hurt. That was July 14th. He hit 407 over the 29 games before that season ending injury. That is a bad break, unintended. Bounce back to the mound. One away in the fifth, and let's step aside and see what's coming up on WGN. Start your weekends early with How I Met Your Mother on WGN America. These friends write the playbook when it comes to love laughs and pickup lines. How I Met Your Mother, Thursdays and Fridays at 8 on WGN America. Great to have you with us on opening day, the second for the Cubs this season. This is the home opener. The Phillies have three of them. Their home opener still to come. <laughs> Strike called on Ruiz. And on the hands that time and a base hit. Dropped it down in front of Scherholz. Sometimes you make your pitch and don't get the result. You were hoping for. He got in on the hands of Ruiz. Soft contact, but he was able to push it into right field for a base hit. But this is a good pitch. Moving up and in on his hands, forcing him to pull his hands in. He doesn't do much with it. But uh, 
safe landing for Ruiz out there and right. So three plate appearances and he's been on base all three times. Utley 0 for 2. High drive out into right. Sure holds at the warning track still going back and it's gone. That's a two run homer for Chase Utley to give the Phillies the lead. Well, there's been a couple of balls hitting this game in that direction up in the air. Sherholtz comes to mind and I thought would fly out of here that did not and ultimately Utley able to take advantage of that wind blowing out. I mean he hit it pretty good. He hit it high enough. Let that wind help push it out of the ballpark. I mean, this is a high fly ball. It just keeps on carrying. Somebody lost a beverage just as that ball was getting out. They lost a beverage, and Travis Wood just lost the lead. <laughs> Chase Utley. As the fourth highest on base plus slugging among second basemen all time. Rogers Hornsby, Charlie Geringer, and Jackie Robinson, three higher. That's why you asked me if he's a Hall of Famer <laughs> before the game. Now I know why. Yeah, well, his rate stats would indicate yeah. Hall of Famer. His counting stats, you know, hit total hits, total RBIs, home runs, probably a little bit shy because of the injuries. I guess it just. Depends on how long he plays. Hitters ballpark, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Bird strikes out. I'm with you. I don't. I don't know that he's a Hall of Famer, but I, I think there would be a case to be made if he could hang in there and play at a high level for another three or four years. One, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts now for Travis Wood this afternoon. Howard could not find the breaking ball. Nothing in one. So no Roy Halliday is retired. Still have Howard and Rollins and Utley. That play actually made by the third baseman, Luis Valbuena. That's 5 3 on the putout. You know, some people have told me reverse mortgages sound too good to be true. I mean, you get cash out of your home, no monthly payments, and still own your home. There's got to be a catch, right, Jesse? Well, there isn't. It's like any other mortgage, only with a reverse mortgage, the loan's paid back when the last borrower leaves the home. In fact, reverse mortgages are based on a notion that President Reagan signed into law over 25 years ago in order to help seniors remain in their homes. They're simply an effective way for folks just like you to get the cash you need to enjoy your retirement. Call 1-800-963-3258 now to receive a new free information kit, including a reverse mortgage guide and DVD, personal stories from people like you, and a brand new family guide for children and loved ones, all absolutely free with no obligation. With a government-insured tax-free reverse mortgage from AAG, you always retain complete ownership of your home. Call 1-800-963-3258 to receive your free info kit today. Those little things still get you. Cialis Tadalafil for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. Cialis is also the only daily ED tablet approved to treat symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines, and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. White Sox, Royals, Saturday, 1.30 East on WGN America. The time now for the speed replay brought to you by Xfinity. This is just good baseball right here. Castro 
pushing one the other way. Unable to knock it down, but Darwin Barney never slowing down, never hesitating. Good aggressive send from Gary Jones. About to pick up a run. Good hardball. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. Hey, look at that. Darwin Barney's leading off. That's good producing right there. He tried to time it. Ball strike, and the Cubs find themselves trailing for the first time today. Well, a story out of Los Angeles. Yasiel Puig taken out of the Dodgers starting lineup. They've got their home opener today. He showed up late for BP. So Matt Kemp is in the lineup. Kemp just activated off the disabled list. They're hosting the Giants. <laughs> you talk about the baseball being a daily soap opera and, uh, you know, out there in uh, Hollywood with the Dodgers with that big payroll. Don mattingly has got a lot of fires that he has to put out. Uh, with Puig and his issues. Portioning the playing time for the talented outfield group he's got. Now he's got the injury issues with Kershaw and Wilson. And I guess uh, Mattingly uh, admitted that Matt Kemp was upset that he wasn't starting before the whole Puig thing happened. So I mean <laughs> it's like <laughs> Puig, Puig helped make it all work by showing up late to work. I wonder if L.A. will prove to be too much for the man. Well, you are really stuck in the 70s today. <laughs> Going back to fine. You were doing a little summer breeze <laughs> earlier as Barney hits it in the air to left, and Brown will make the catch for the out. <laughs> Filter doesn't work as well in a cool day like today. Never pops in, tends to come out. Here's Wood. Laid down a successful sacrifice in the third inning. Now you called the home run for Travis Wood today. Or I did. One of us did. I think you did, and then I did. You confirmed it, yeah. yeah. We did. We did. Well, he uh, has six in his career, including three last year. He hit a grand slam off Jake Peavy, then of the White Sox. Hmm. Lane Abbott, four years old from Oswego here at his first ever Cubs game with his Aunt Cheryl. In keeping with our conversation to Tom Ricketts earlier, though. It's a family bonding thing at the ballpark. Another minor league note Jorge Soler has a sore right hamstring. My friend Mick Gillespie tweeting that he's going to go on the seven day minor league DL as Wood strikes out. Cubs encourage the use of public transportation to get to and from Wrigley Field or ride your bike and use the Cubs courtesy bike check located near the corner of Clark and Waveland. For drivers, the Cubs provide free parking and shuttle services on night and weekend games from 3900 North Rockwell. Go to Cubs.com for details. Outside on Bonifacio, who's 0 for 2, but 11 out of 18 on the season. Still hitting over 600. Sharply hit. Backhanded play by Utley to get him. Utley's had a heck of a day. Gave them the lead and just retired Bonifacio in a nifty play. 3-2. Joe Alaska's tough. 
It can take the cold. And the heat. Trust me, this battery can beat a pure battery. Duralast. Proven tough. Get in the zone. Salem. Premiere Sunday, April 20th on WGN America. Attention all women over 18. If you don't have a facial exfoliating brush yet, we need your help. And you need ours. We're Hydroxitone, and we have a mission to set a world record by mailing out a million free sonic microderm facial brushes as quickly as possible. We're calling it the Million Brush Mailout, and we want to include you. This free brush is yours just for trying a risk-free trial of our anti-aging breakthrough, Hydroxitone. So call now and tell us where to send your trial and free facial brush. 1-800-793. 9729. Exfoliating, softening, smoothing, renewing your skin for youthful radiance. This luxurious facial brush is top of the line, valued at $60. But call now and you can get it free. Again, we're trying to mail out a million free facial brushes as quickly as possible. So we need your help. Call immediately for your free facial brush and risk-free trial of hydroxetone. 1-800-793-9729. 1-800-793-9729. May the best hand win. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Savagery. Well done, Grasshopper. The battle continues. Time now for our Honda game summary. First home runs of the season for Chase Utley of the Phillies and Wellington Castile of the Cubs. Fills with a 3-2 lead as Travis Wood battles with Roberto Hernandez. Start something special with great leases and low financing on a new Honda. Visit shophonda.com or visit your local Honda dealer. Baby, don't you want to go? Brown, Knicks, Ashy. Against the southpaw, Travis Wood. The curveball. Start this at bat. Breaking that wrinkle out third time through the batting order. Giving these hitters a little something else to think about. Tough luck pitcher last year, Travis Wood. You have an ERA of 3.11. You should be better than 9 and 12. Arnie scooting to his left. Short throw to Rizzo. And Travis called one of his really good friends, Cliff Lee, from Arkansas. And Lee will pitch tomorrow. A hey, good matchup tomorrow, Cliff Lee and Jeff Samarja. Lee got knocked around pretty good by the Rangers in his debut. And won. Yeah, that was the 14 to 10 game. They probably owed him one, though. He hasn't gotten a ton of run support in the last few years. Would you be. Okay, if they just we just got rid of pitcher wins completely. I don't think it'll happen. Yeah, it's kind of a, a you know if you try to evaluate pitching over the years, over the, the long decades of baseball history, had they never recorded wins for pitchers, I think we'd have a more balanced look at pitching. But it'd be hard to get away with you know do away with it now. But I think with sabermetrics. Becoming more and more mainstream, and baseball fans paying more attention to them. There's, there's certainly an appreciation now. Uh, it goes far beyond wins and losses when evaluating pitching. We saw it a couple of years ago when uh, King Felix won the Cy Young in the American League. Side corner on Knicks. Yeah. 13 wins maybe that year, something like that. I think you're right. Yeah. Kevin Millwood won an ERA title. And finished under 500 a few years ago. 
Back in 1987, I believe it was, Nolan Ryan led the league in ERA and strikeouts and finished like 8 and 16 or something crazy like that. He, at the time, he was the first pitcher to lead the league in ERA and strikeouts and not win the Cy Young Award. Yeah, your ERA in 1988 was three right on the button. And you went 11 and 14. Yeah. Well, you know, a couple of years there, we, we didn't score a ton of runs. Um, that was a pretty good pitcher's park, too. So, you know, you didn't expect your team to score a ton of runs for you. Welcome to our booth. Hey, the Cubby Bear looks great for opening day. Thanks to them for hosting the WGN TV pregame party today. And welcome to a new general manager, Greg Easterly. Enjoying opening day. Ashy with two outs. Swing and a miss. Grounder to Barney. Two in the inning. Phillies go quietly in the sixth and they lead the Cubs three to two. People just think I'm a punk kid making pizzas, but that's not true. The truth is, there's more to Domino's pizza makers than you think. Many of us have a real passion for crafting things by hand, like our handmade pan pizza, made with fresh dough and two layers of cheese. Order a Domino's two-topping pan pizza for just $7.99 and taste just how good handmade can be. I think of myself as a craftsman, and these are my tools. See what other pizza makers are crafting at dominos.com. Okay, neighbors, here's the top draw, Skinny. Scotts wraps each seed in a brilliant WaterSmart Plus coating that feeds, protects, and holds in moisture to make growing thicker, healthier grass easier. Now let's spread your newfound knowledge. Seed your lawn. Seed it. This weekend, get ready.